We exalt and magnify your holy name. Lord, we ask that you have your way in this space. We worship your name, Heavenly Father. We worship your name, Lord. We worship your name, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are mighty. You are Lamb upon the throne. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We lift up your name. 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 Worthy Heavenly Father.
Senhor, uma mão de Hands up, 
Tua vida We lift you high We lift you high Sing we lift you high We lift you high Hands up There is no one like Sing it one more time, we lift. Sing your holy, your holy. Are you? Sing Amen. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, 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 for the Lord. Sing it again, lift your voice, sing. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, sing, are you Lord? Sing, are you Lord?
tonight as we bring to the to the pulpit one of our daughter of destiny Brianna she come come sister Brianna come sing for us sing for us get the mic for her
You're so skinny and sweet. Tell them real nice. Yeah, always bless our heart. Always, 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 you know. Really thank God for her tonight. When you see Brenzi and all of them and Manti and all them, boy, he's full of good, good, nice worship. Elam is the place to be real nice, good worshippers. While we are waiting here because the traffic is real, real bad. I tell you, I never pass this shortcut today. Yes. So as they come in, let us, you know, start coming. And as they come in, we pray for the safe. They read safe, okay? Bless the Lord. This is our what? Fortnight is our fortnight of revival. First, we start off with Pastor Angela. Bless God. And secondly, we had we had on last what we have on we had Pastor John last night. And we had Molly, Pastor Molly the Tuesday, and Pastor John last night. And today we have um, Bishop. <laughs> Bishop Beans tonight. This one is a singer preacher. Yes. We really appreciate him tonight, but we just don't want to bring him on like that. Let's get our team song. So you have to stand up for that team song. Let me get our war cry. Somebody shout war cry. War cry. Get your hands, get your feet. Gotta sing it real good tonight. Gotta sing it good tonight, okay? So get yourself in action. I'm a very big Don't oh, come with that here tonight. Tonight is not welcome. Every night will be greater than the night before, okay? So let's come on, take care of. Put those hands, get them feet, put them smile. You know, you know, you know what I like about the um. I just watch the children sing on London Half Talent. Anybody could write, that's why right, I, I like to watch them. And these girls that be singing and smiling. You can be praising God with your mouth closed and your, and, and, and just standing up straight here, you know? Strong. And I put some peps in your place. Peps in your place. Okay, come on, Brenzi, and you too. Come on, come on, with them too. Come on. With Jeffrey, with Jeffrey. If they had no tiredness here, you know, tomorrow night. But talk for yourself. Come on, come on. Hey, I have a very
very big guy. Yes, let me hear you, Jeffrey. Let me hear you this. Clap your hands. Clap your hands to Jesus. Move yourself, man. Move yourself. Move yourself. No stand up this straight, man. Move Jesus. Before we don't take your seat because we are about to bring on the man of God but before we bring the bishop to us tonight I want you to look in the corner right over there and thank God for your bishop. That's your bishop. Really appreciate you so much bishop. And then put your hands together one more time for Pastor Angie and Pastor Ken. And while you're doing that, turn to your right and go ahead and give the pastors, the deacons, the deaconess, put your hands together for them. And then put your hands for the choir. Put your hands for the worship team. Put your hands for the ushers. And then put your hands for yourself tonight. Hallelujah. Well, we really thank God tonight for next, uh, next and uh, next man of God that entering on the pulpit tonight. I say every night that Bishop trusts him to be here tonight. That's Bishop Friend. And if he's Bishop Friend, it's your friend. So we thank God for him tonight. Lift your hands. So, Lord, I open my spirit wide. Speak to me tonight. And whatever you say, I will obey. Put your hands again and help me welcome Bishop Terence Bean. Let's see, come. Give God praise for him. God bless you. Uh. 
Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Just grab a hold of somebody that's close by. God, we pause again just to tell you thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for life. Thank you for help. Thank you that we could be in your house lifting up your name. Thank you for this season of revival. Thank you for everything that you have done already and what you are doing tonight. We just commit this time into your care. We depend upon you. It is the anointing that makes this thing become real, make it become relevant, make it become life-changing. And so we depend upon you for this anointing. May your blessing be upon every single person in this house. Every single person, even those that may be viewing this online, we pray a very special blessing on them as well. And we give you praise in advance. I said we give you praise in advance. Because your reputation precedes you. And we thank you for doing it now in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. amen. Come on, clap your hands one more time. Have your seats if you can. Bless the name of the Lord. I certainly want to give God thanks for the opportunity to stand in this hallowed spot tonight. Thank God for the bishop of his, this house, his dear wife, the leadership here. And amen. And the fact that he would consider for me to be here with you this evening. Amen. I came from overseas. Amen. Bless the Lord. And it must mean something because it is not that there is a shortage of preachers here in Trinidad. In fact, not a shortage of short preachers either. Amen. So I deem myself very, very privileged and we trust the Lord to help us tonight. Amen. Bishop made a request. And because he's the bishop, I have to adhere to the request. Amen. When, when I go and people ask, make a request, I tell them, this is not a radio station. But he is the bishop. Amen. And he made a request for us to sing a little calypso kind of thing. In Jesus' name. Give me the first one. Amen. It's very simple. When you hear it, you know it. You all know it, right? Come on, put your hands together like this. All you have to say, we're not taking that. Put it. Here we go. Say it up so bold face. You say. We're not taking that. Hold on, 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 hold on. You all don't try to fool me now. You all don't try to fool me. You know we get on when Calypso music play. So don't try to impress nobody here now because I know better. I see you on the live and all that kind of thing from time to time. Calypso is a kind of thing, it is a kind of infectious kind of rhythm. Okay? We know that you are spiritual, so you have to control your lower extremities. We understand that. Right? But Calypso works well when you're standing. I'm not saying that you have to stand. I'm just saying it is, it is voluntarily mandatory that you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Play the thing again, my brother, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Forgetting he plays you said every day y'all are wrong but we must keep him down so put your foot on the devil cause he wicked and evil if we have you in trouble bring him down to ground level come put your foot on the devil cause he wicked and evil if we have you in trouble bring him down to ground level when he Cause you think you're all alone. We not taking that. You have to make a stand. We not taking that. Cause you have the upper hand. Hold on. Come put your foot on the devil. Cause you 
Give the Lord a hand. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Y'all sit, 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 sit. Amen. Let me tell you all something. That little shake and thing in church. Real good for arthritis and everything then. Seriously. Amen? Amen. All right. Let's get to the word, you hear? Well, sometimes when we start, it's be hard to stop. And we give God thanks. I want to draw your attention tonight to a couple verses in the gospel according to St. John chapter 12 from verse number 20. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethesda and of Galilee, and desired him, saying, we would see Jesus, or we would like to have an audience with Jesus. And Jesus answered and Philip come and tell it, Andrew, Andrew, and Philip tell Jesus. Jesus answered and said, saying, the hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. What you say now? Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a seed of corn fall into the ground and dies, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. My, my brother, would you be so kind? Just take the reverb off here for me, please. Thank you so much. Amen. Bless the Lord. The, our message tonight is, out of death come at life. Uh, touch your neighbor, tell him, out of death come at life. Come on, tell him. Out of death come at life. Listen here. All of us can agree that death is a part of the cycle of life. 
Oh yes, if you, any living thing, amen, death is a part of the cycle. We don't like death, it's not something that we celebrate, but it is a part of our reality. Oh, come on here. Amen. Bless God. But, amen. So, so this scenario here, Jesus, amen, is up in Jerusalem with his disciples. Some Greeks come along. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they desire to have an audience with Jesus. Now, you have to understand, the Greeks are philosophers. They are highfalutin thinkers. They, they, don't, they don't identify with mundane things. That's why Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 23, we preach Christ crucified to the Jews foolishness but to the Greeks a stumbling block. In other words, they couldn't identify with a man dying on a cross. So Jesus had to wax philosophical so they could get the message. So Jesus said to them, except a seed fall into the ground and dies it abideth alone but if it dies it brings forth much fruit you must notice that not a Greek said anything after that we have no record of any further correspondence or amen or communication between the Greeks and Jesus seems to me the Greeks had an understanding that out of death will come life glory be to God my brothers and sisters while in fact Jesus was speaking directly about his death and resurrection there are some other applications that we can make the truth is for true life to come something have to die am I right about it you gotta pray for me tonight thank you Jesus amen bless God for new human life to come there got to be some kind of death am I right bless God a man meets a woman amen women looking all beautiful some of the most fantabulous shape you could think about designed with curves like the road to maracas I can't get no help amen bless God and amen and man gets married and amen they engage in sexual business and a child is conceived before that child could be brought forth this nice little figure have to die am I right I can't get no help that Coca Cola that you used to idolize begins to go into oblivion and all the spaces start filling up you ladies ain't saying nothing amen bless God but I'm trying to tell you that out of death life is gonna come are you hearing me bless the name of the Lord I married a wife from the book up in Arima nice thin lady looking all nice and amen got all the procure you could talk about all the designs but when she conceived all of a sudden the beautiful design begins to die amen because new life is coming forth pastor when I counsel people about getting married I tell them make sure employ a good photographer and take pictures because this size you used to have this shape you used to have will be there no more and when them children setting up your pressure all you have to console you is pictures are you there I can't get no help you got to take some pictures thank you Lord but we can't get on the sisters too much because even the brothers I can't get no help the brothers <laughs> like them get some debt going on I can't get no help brothers amen you got married thin and nice all of a sudden you look down and can't see your feet in two months I can't get no help because out of death life is gonna come bless the Lord so your, your figure changes and 
your fashion changes. Well, I know the most reasonable people, some of them ladies, like you had to get a fashion police for them. Are you hearing me? Not you in here so you could say amen. You had to get a fashion police for them. Amen. The pregnant and full pregnant wearing some things that pregnant people ought not wear. I can't get no help from the boy. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless God. But somebody's got to say, you got to let the death take place because new life is coming forth. I am so glad that my mother had a funeral service ten times and while they were coming for number six, Terence Bates was coming forth. I'm so glad that she didn't have an abortion. I'm so glad she didn't have a miscarriage. I'm so glad that she brought me full term that I could be here tonight to tell you that there is something beautiful about death because when death takes place some kind of life should come forth thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we got a piece of property in Tobago after renting for years got a piece of property <laughs> And felt that we arrived. And we were in our Mecca. You know when you don't have nothing and you get something? How you just guard it. And wish Jesus could come the next day. I can't get no help. Bless the name of the Lord. So Bishop we bought a tent. And put it on the property. And start praising God. And say we reach. We give God praise. We don't one day I was here in Trinidad preaching somewhere I got a phone call pastor you need to come now I say what's the problem you got to come I say I'm in Trinidad but I got a flight when I got home bishop the tent was on the ground mashed up in pieces I couldn't understand I said, God, how oh, you could bless me with the land, bless me with the money for the tent, and allow the wind to mash up the thing you bless me with. I can't get no help. Is there anybody here ever ask God some serious question? How it is the blessing seem to be slipping away? I tell you the truth. I was upset. I sat down on the edge of the pulpit all I didn't do was cry and you know when you're upset God don't pay you no mind because God knows when you calm down you ought to come right back am I right Lord Jesus uh, so when I calm down be ain't hear no word nobody ain't prophesy no lightning and flash no thunder and roll but bishop I got up and I told the church we gonna build a church and in seven days we put up a structure what I learned is that some things have to die I said some things have to die some things have to Let me tell you this. I ain't charging it for giving this free. Sometimes we love the thing so much that we won't kill it ourselves. Come on here. You love it so much. You have not gotten one like this ever in your life. Oh, come on, a man. You ain't never meet a man like that in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, tall, dark, and handsome. Amen or short. Bless God, babe. We're not short. I'm more down to earth than most people. Bless the Lord. And handsome as well. Bless the name of the Lord. But let me tell you something. God always have the perfect thing for you. And sometimes you're holding on. But I hear God saying, it's time to sing nearer my God. 
to me and have a funeral service because new life is coming forth and if you don't kill it God don't kill it for you when I was in Bible school and a young lady well, I tell myself I was in love Modify the definition. Uh, uh, uh. I, I'm trying, I'm trying. I said, I'm myself in love. And bless God, but no matter what, I try. The thing wouldn't work. I'm holding on. I'm buying flowers. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It just wouldn't work. I carry a home by my mother. Yeah, my mother's are something else. You know? I don't know. Mothers have a kind of GPS. They are some kind of stem, some kind of scientific thing that they will watch a boy or watch a woman one time and say, eh, 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 eh. I, I can't get no help. My mother called me in the room. She said, Terry, I don't like that girl. And you don't understand. When you're in love already, <laughs> you do not need opinion. You need endorsement. Opinion must come before you're in love. That's why I tell them in church, I know I've gone up, but I'll come back later, that, that when it's time for counseling, don't come by me after you're in love already. Because I can't be objective. I'm not telling you what I tell you. You might be vexed and leave the church and all that. If you're already in love, I will just pray for you and believe God that the thing work out. But it makes more sense to come before. I ain't know who I'm talking to yet, but it makes more sense to tell Bishop before. Amen. You go and spend all that money on dress and all kind of thing and call your family from state. And all them kind of thing. You know, we like to do it. Amen. You're planning it since before COVID. <laughs> but, but the point is, the point is that somehow that thing didn't work out. Bishop, when I see the young lady now, every time I say, oh God, thank you. Thank you. I want you to understand. I want you to understand. I want you to understand something. I want you to understand something. It don't mean that she gone in some bad situation. No, that's not what I mean. You know. I just realize the kind of man I am. The kind of way I just operate. Amen. She would have leave me long time. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I am an extrovert, sanguine personality. I am a madman. A spontaneous. And you can't have two mad people in a house. That is a mad house. You understand what I'm telling you? One of them has to be calm. Are you understanding what I'm Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord in his wisdom, amen, took a nice lady from a Rima that is nice and introverted, the exact opposite of me. So when I start to act stupid, she just calm me down. Amen. When I feel that I have the opinion, she will throw in something. I don't like it, but she will do it in Jesus' name. But God, we are putting people together. Are you understanding my channel? There's a little marriage thing I go on off on the bank. Come back. Amen. It might help somebody. But bless God. God, we are killing things that he know will kill you. Uh, come on here. Some of you right in this Jesus hill, I'm here. Saying, oh God, pastor, I know what you're talking about. Because if I didn't get rid of that, all oh, like now I ain't seen dance. I can't get no help. If God didn't deliver me, all oh, like now I'm pulling out me here in the house. If God didn't deliver me, all oh, like now I feel like running amok. I would have thrown Clorox in his food. If God didn't deliver me, I'm so glad that death took place that life could come thank you Jesus out of death comet life 
You all must pray for me. I'm not supposed to get so excited so quick. Amen. Bless the Lord. But even in human life, something has to die. For healthy life, something has to die. And when we say health, we're not just talking about the physical health. Spiritual, emotional, something has to die. Amen. I like to eat all kind of things. Talk to me here. I like to eat all kind of things. I say, who the son of man said free is free indeed. <laughs> Can't get no help. Amen. We're doing some work on the church. And some of the sisters brought some food and I mix up the food and them. Bless it and start to blaze it now. After about an hour, my skin start itching. I start getting hives. You all know what hives is, right? I feel the sole of my feet swelling. My ears swell. My lips swell. I go on by the doctor. The devil is a liar, boy. I go on by the doctor and tell the doctor, well, this is the scene. Doctor, give me a list about 13 things, Bishop. All the nice things on the list. Here yeah, she start with lobster, shrimp, crab. Who does that? You bless God. You come and see a man who walk in by faith. A man who accustomed to three pieces and two pieces and one wing. Amen. And a half fry leg. Now I get some lobster tail. You will tell me that I must not eat no lobster. The devil is a liar. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And they started going down the line. After they gone past seafood, stew pork. Who does that? The devil is a liar. Every Tobagonian, except you are seven day Adventist, pork is a critical part of the Tobagonian experience. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And they're going on all the nice things. Watch this now. I start to follow the thing, follow the thing, but I still gain the trouble. So I said, Can't be the meat. Can't be the meat. So I went down to a seafood restaurant. I order a seafood platter. I bless it. And I start to blaze it, man. When I'm done, my hair swell. <laughs> you know, you almost pray for me, boy. It have a thin line between faith and foolishness, eh? Telling you, my hands swell. But watch this now, watch it now. I go on home. I think about the thing, Bishop. This is about 10 years ago. Now I say, I can't live the rest of my life. I go back and the next day, I buy the same platter. I pray about it. Put on me anointed face. You all know the anointed face where you squeeze down. Yeah, yeah. And I say, oh God. You say whatever we bless and receive with thanksgiving. That you bless it. And I start to put some licks on that. From that day, from that day, the allergy died. Ow! Ow! Lord have mercy. I said the allergy died. So no, where well, see I could afford it. Bless God, there was a time you had to plan a whole month to eat a decent meal. I can't get no help. But no, I could go on any day, any restaurant in Tobago and order lobster tail or buy the whole lobster if I want. In Jesus' name, I'm trying to tell you that some things have to die for good life to come and somebody amen you may have a problem with your diet i'm trying to tell you don't have to die that we gonna pray for you the night them ulcers must go them problems must go them gases must go in the name of jesus we are going to have a funeral service tonight for life We said for new life to come, death need to take place, yes? Death for humans and death for health, 
Death also for heavenly living. I said death for heavenly. We know that you have to, your sinful life have to die for you to get some heavenly living. No, 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 don't rush it yet. Don't rush it yet. Remember Jesus said in John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come that they might have, come on, I have come that they might have, and have it more. Come on, say have it more. Amen, amen, amen. Abundant means superfluous, means overflowing. It don't mean existing, it means maxing out on life. Oh God. Let me announce to you tonight. Do not allow stupid people to tell you what you could get and what you can't get and all that kind of thing. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Stop listening to people who don't know better. There are some people that are in poverty. Amen. They're in bondage all their life. They have a mentality crisis going on. Some of them just love misery and you know misery like company. There are some people they don't mind if you come abreast of them but as you look like you're going to step ahead. That does get up under their skin. They like to see you behind. They like to see you depressed. They like to see you frustrated. But you are a child destined for abundance. I said you are an abundant child. Abundant in your brain. Abundant in your body. Abundant in your bread basket. Abundant in your house. Abundant in your money. I don't know how much you have. But I'm telling you. You got to aspire for abundance. Let me close it in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. Disciples come by Jesus. They say, Lord, teach us how to pray. Jesus said, Pray this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Watch this now. Listen this carefully. Thy kingdom come where? Come on, where? Come on, come on, hands up. Thy kingdom come. Thy what? Thy? Be done where? Done where? Come on, say the thing, man. Be done where? All right. All right. There are two things we could say about heaven. Heaven is a place of freedom and fulfillment. Can you agree? Uh, some of you, let me come on this side. There are two things we can say about heaven. Heaven is a place of freedom. And fulfillment. No pain, no crying, no nothing. Everything nice. Put that in your mind. Jesus said, when you pray, say, Lord, let your kingdom come on earth just as it is. So, if it has freedom in heaven, it must have freedom down here. Oh, come on, man. You must settle for no kind of bondage. Bondage must die. Not family bondage. Not man bondage. Not woman bondage. Not money bondage. Not people bondage. Not demonic bondage. Because it are no bondage up in heaven. Therefore, I want to be free when I come to praise God. Me asking nobody question. When you see me running around, leave me alone. You don't know the hell I've been through to come and do this running here. I run in because I run away from the devil and his bondage. I run in because I run away from frustration. Running in the freedom. Running in the breakthrough. There must be freedom. And there must be fulfillment on earth hear me I don't mean that everything may be perfect now but you must never stop aspiring for fulfillment amen it don't matter how old you are you gotta keep it before your mind that one day things will get better things have to change Things are to change. 
can be seated up in Jesus a lamb under this kind of ministry and things that change amen that devil had the unmitigated goal to try to set up shop in your house well tomorrow when that blood night come who ain't dead badly wounded y'all ain't hear what I'm saying bless the name of the Lord because there is something what we ain't deal with tonight is blood tomorrow it's blood in the house it's blood in the car it's blood on the back step it's blood in the back it's blood all over in the name of Jesus 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 in the name of I want my fulfillment. I want my fulfillment. I want my house on a hill. You know, you know, sometimes you testify about things so long that people are saying, hurry up, hurry up and finish, hurry up and finish. I holding on to my thing. I grew up in a very humble place. The house we lived, lived in so small, you have to go outside to change your mind. <laughs> Some of you laughing, but you know this story. And I always say, before Jesus come, I want my mansion. On a hill with a white picket fence and a dog parrot in a cage. Bishop, I used to live in a little apartment in a place close to Mount Irving, one of the upper class neighborhoods where people just come out on the evening and walk the dog along the seashore. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Them high falutin people taking a stroll with their high pedigree or medium pedigree dogs and I tell myself I will be walking my dog soon are you hearing what I'm saying so I went down to the hardware I buy a chain I had a little pot on home I put it <laughs> you don't understand Faith is action. I said, Faith is action. And I put the chain around my pot on man. And if you see me walking, some of them don't know my business, think I'm going crazy, but they don't understand. I see my mansion. I see it in Jesus' name. I'm talking to a single woman in here. You're fine. The man ain't coming for the wedding. Go down to the bridal shop, buy the wedding dress, hang it up on the door, and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I can't get no help in Jesus' name. Bless the name of the Lord. You want the car? Go up to Neil and Nassi. Go to Diamond Motors and tell them, you come. Fulfillment. Bishop, almost done. The first car I bought in Tobago. Never buy no car yet. But I say I need a car. I, say I need a car. Me ain't tell nobody nothing because you know sometimes it has something I to keep to you. That's all. The devil cannot read your mind. It's when you open your mouth and talk out your thing. He's fighting on your thing. So I come in church. I come in church, man. Bless the Lord. The preacher had we had a special service. The man had done a kind of we call that boy. You know, men and no colors too good, but I kind of 
You see, like that, that, that like my sister in this center, that, that blouse. Yeah, yeah, you. What color is this? Yeah, what color is that? Yeah, yeah, the blouse. Yeah, a beige. Oh Lord, pastel. You see that? I never know it. A color like that. But anyway, Bishop the man out on like a fluorescent pastel, bright. I invite the man. When I see the man, I feel like I'm naked. I want to find him, and I tell myself, I am the man of the house. You can't look like you come from some gully somewhere. So the next night, I had one. You know, God, God have a sense of you, know. I had a sky blue suit. And them days, I like to match everything. Blue shoes. I put on my blue man. When I come in the church, and the preacher reached me, he looked at me, say, Benz, you look anointed, boy. <laughs> And that man put his hand in his pocket. Pastor Aggie, and he took out a thousand dollars. He put it in my hand. When he did that, everybody else in the church started to bring money. In my mind, I say, oh God, look down payment. I can't get no help. Bless the Lord. Are you understanding? I'm trying to stay in the spirit and count money at the same time. Are you all in here what I'm telling you? Watch this now. Watch this now. When I get all the money and I'm about to sit down, I hear a voice say, Take all that money and give to that day. I say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You see, you don't understand that sometimes in church, you know, man, sometimes in church. The devil rob you of your blessing out of guilt and all kind of stupidness. In my mind, I said, Help me and you here today, no devil. But you know, when it's God, it's God. That voice keeps talking, talking, talking. Me and here, nothing I'm not safe for the whole night. Of my the lady had on a, she had on a black hat. I told her, I said, Just take, take off your hat. And I put all the money in the hat. I go, I sat down. I tell you the truth now. Confession is good to the soul. I vex. I vex. In my mind, I say, God, what kind of thing is that? I come here tonight. You let me experience two emotions in one service. I glad, 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 and sad, 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 minutes after. I go, no, me and even sleep good tonight. First, I vex. God is something else, God Bishop. The next morning, about 8 o'clock, my phone ring. The same lady. I answer vex to it. I tell you the truth. <laughs> In my mind, I said, What you want now? You get all the money last night. What you want now? But God, not easy. She said, Pastor, where are you? I said, I'm home. She said, come. She said, when I went home last night, God talked to me. God told me, go to the bank, put double on what you get last night, and give you it back. Ay! Ay! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. When I go to church, when I go to church the next night, I start to run like a madman. I repent early and say, God, I'm sorry. I ain't know what you was doing. I never see that before. When I went and tell the landlord, the landlord give me $15,000. Anytime you see a landlord bless you, God is moving. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I went up to the car dealership, sit down in the car. I drive out. All I wanted was a Ray-Ban sunglasses and a grass hat to let them know that God is able to do the amazing. God is able to kill poverty and bring you into blessing. In the name of Jesus, you've got to have some fulfillment. You can't serve God all your life and there 
is no joy and there is no peace and there is no blessing you got to be fulfilled I said you got to be fulfilled you don't need a man you don't need a man all you need is God all you need is God Y'all sit, 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 somebody behind you trying to see. Hey Amen. God bless you, my sister. Let me give you one more. And I'm done. Last year. Not last year, the year before that, actually. Celebrating my 60th birthday. Year before, yeah. Bishop, you wrote it. So I plan. I go have a blast. Call all my friends. We go have a good Christian fet. All you don't get distracted by the road fet, man. We have a good Christian party then. Bring up all them gospel singers. So I go and buy my friends in the bank. I say, I want $25,000. I say, yeah. So I say, cool. Hey, small money. Because you know, you ought to get disposable income for them kind of thing. Come on, you all say amen, say amen. About that two days before the thing, they come to tell me they're not giving me the money. I know I pray and all that. I just vex easy. You all must pray for me, I just vex easy. <laughs> so I go on home. Bishop, I go on home. My wife said, somebody sent something there for you. I pass everything. Me and him tell, talk to them good. First of all, I go in my room and sleep. As I'm no sleep early, seven o'clock I'm in bed. <laughs> but you know, sometimes some tidings could just break your spirit. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're going along good enough, and somebody, some text, some call just kill your vibes. I go on home. I go and work the next day. This is, this is 48 hours of vexation. 48 hours. And I don't know about the brothers here, but normally men, when we vex, the vexation has to run its course. Am I, let me talk to them fellas on here. It has to run its course. And sisters, you, have to, you all have to understand that. You all are insensitive sometimes with that because sometimes you all are responsible for the vexation. Not only time, sometimes. Watch this now. Or let us start the vexation and then come back good one time and ask him if we want food. No! I wonder if the brothers could feel me, boy. No! No! Vexation had to run its course. The second night I come home, let me sit on my table. I take out the box, nonchala. Open the box, Bishop. Twenty-five thousand dollars in the box. <laughs> yeah, nah. I sit down. I say, Oh God, I stupid. I stupid. I stupid. I stupid. I sorry. You know, it's a miracle thing. Is who it come from? The people that send up. I would have never in my wildest dream think that they will consider such a thing. I'm trying to tell you something here tonight as I close. God will do some things that will blow your mind. Yeah. Hear me? I beg you, stay faithful. Stay faithful. Praise your God. Come in your church. Lift up holy hands. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nobody keep you back. God will make blessing find you. You could build your house in the woods. God will let men cut a beaten path and find your house. If they lock you up in a steel cage and throw you to the bottom of the sea, God will break you out so that you could get your thing. Let his will be done in heaven and on earth. 
I want fulfillment. I want joy. I want some money. I said I want some money. Some of you can't say when last you went on a vacation. All you could do is staycation from town to Shaguanas. Amen. But this is a time for you to get up and go somewhere. I hear some say, let's go to Dominica. Where the Dominicans and them? Let's go to Dominica. Let's go to the Emerald Pool. You must enjoy this Christianity that you have. Don't let the devil and the sinners enjoy it more than you. You must enjoy. Everybody rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Out of death, come at life. Tonight, I want us very quickly to have a funeral service. All of you, whoever you are, you have something that you want to bury tonight. I want you to come down to the altar and meet me quick, 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 quick. Don't wait on nobody. Funeral service, quick, quick, quick. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Tobago, when it's funeral time, it has a song we just sing. When peace like a river attended my way when sorrows like sea bellow Everybody say whatever. Whatever my love thou hast me to say it is well it is well with my soul Come on, everybody, lift your voice and sing the chorus. It is well it with my soul. With my soul. With my soul, it is well. It is well. Oh, yeah. finish with the prayer you just do this in Jesus name everybody bow your head Lord we have come tonight to commit this thing to the ground dust to dust ashes to ashes now Lord we look forward to new life in the name of Jesus Christ, we shall mourn no more. We shall cry no more over this thing. We give you thanks. We give you thanks because out of death come at life in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Come on, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Now clap your hands unto the Lord, everybody. hallelujah one final thing one final thing one final thing i want everybody joining as musicians everybody i'm counting to three i 
want you to shout a hallelujah for the life. Shout a hallelujah for the victory. Shout a hallelujah for the breakthrough. After three, one, two, three, say. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, I received something tonight. Hallelujah. Say, I'm taking it home with me. And tomorrow night it will be additional. Then give the Lord a hand praise and go back to your seat. On your way going back, give Bishop Baines a big hand tonight for the message we have received it in the name of Jesus so much things have been said and done tonight and I thank God for his word because his word never loses power never loses power come on ushers come on we have to plan tonight to die in order to live. Come, let's do this tonight. Get it off. And get the ball rolling. Because something... Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bishop George, and I want you to stay on the stream for a little while longer as I give you these special announcements. First, I must say thank you. You could have been watching any other stream, but you choose Jesus Elam International Headquarters this morning. And again, I love you. We appreciate you. We are always praying for you, and we will continue praying for you. In these announcements, I want you to understand and I want you to connect in such a way for this to continue happening. Our prayers between you uh, and me. It means that you pray for us, we pray for you. So let's see what we can uh, organize here quickly to make this possible. First, I want you to have the numbers to call. I want you to call Anytime we're going right through this week, anytime, uh, any hour during the services, you can call and give your request. On Wednesday, we will be taking requests from the stream live. So I want yours to be done before that time. Okay, before that time. Let me give you the numbers. And you will call whatever it is, your children, your marital problem, financial problem, this is the week for prayer. This is the week where prayers will be answered. So the first step we're going to take is give you the numbers. If you're outside the country, don't forget to put that one 1475 You call and you leave your request. Those of you that are watching us by the stream live through YouTube, Facebook, television, uh, and you want to be a part of the service. You, 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 I mean, it's nice watching live and everything. You receive so much, but it's different when you are in the presence of God. So from tomorrow you can come. We do every night at six. This is the entire Passover revival going on here at Jesus Elam. We're going right up until Friday night. Friday night is the blood night. Every night we start at six, but Friday night we're asking the people to come by half past five so we can gather. We want to do a lot of laying of hands, a lot of speaking into your life, a lot of declaration and confession. It's nice if you come. Would you come? Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your husbands, your wives, your neighbors, and let's fill out the place. We have an overflow if it's too much. And we're going to have a great time. You come and we pray for you. We preach to you. Special message. 
a wonderful singing in worship you need to be here in person that's friday night coming that's good friday it's a holiday get yourself in the house of god when that is done we are climaxing with a grand finale sunday coming here at 8 30 a.m that's our passover service our resurrection service praise god we learned last night that passover will be for the entire month but on sunday is our resurrection service whatever is dead in your life whatever you give up on your life whatever you buried in your life you are going to get it back in jesus name amen make that declaration i am getting it back in jesus name so the entire week we want you to join us if you and your loved ones might be home there you say bishop george we need household salvation saturday glorious saturday is a good day for that on saturday we'll be baptizing people right at the church and i want you to come if you're coming tonight if you're coming tomorrow night you're coming the next night you make sure and put your names down six seven thirty saturday morning seven thirty saturday morning we'll be at the church baptizing people and bringing them in the kingdom of god is such a wonderful time to be saved the bible uh, that we're celebrating the death re resurrection and the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ and it's a good time for your resurrection you can't stay there no longer you can't stay in, in debts you can't stay in poverty you cannot stay in confusion in your home the life that you live in is pulling you back and destroying you you can't continue like this. You have to make a decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Now listen, after this, we have the first Sunday. Every first Sunday, we ask asking people to come early, register, put your name down. The silver start at 8.30, you, at 8, you can come at 7.15. 7 Every first Sunday, it's our covenant service. We start at 8 a.m. Every first Sunday, mark that down. Every, uh, every other Sunday, we start our service at 8.30, but every first Sunday, we do it at 8. Now, why am I asking you to come early every first Sunday? Well, there's two reasons. The number one reason is because we have so much to do with that service. We pray for the people. We lay hands on the sick. We, uh, it's a covenant service. We do communion. We speak blessings in our people's life. Everything happened on that first Sunday. So we decided to start at half an hour before. Instead of 8.30, we begin at 8 every first Sunday. We want your entire family to be in that service. The branch church, churches all around, they join us. And it's a big service. I always have a big word from God. Now that's the first reason. So every first Sunday, instead of 8.30, we start our service at 8 a.m. The second reason, I want you to come, some of you, for quarter past seven or 7.30 before 8 a.m. is because I want to bless you with a food hamper. If you say, Bishop George, I don't have enough food in my house. I don't have food in my house. I need help. We want to help you. This is, this is how the church began. And this is how the church is going to end. That's how we start Jesus' Lamb. Giving food hampers, helping the less fortunate. So if you want... If you want to be a part of this, you get there for 7.15, 7.30, as early as possible, so you can put your name down. At the end of the service, you'll receive a food hamper. So that's two reasons we want you to reach early every first Sunday. First Sunday is the following Sunday, don't forget that. Uh, we believe in God for you. We want to pray for you. We want to, we want to see a life change. We want to see you move from the, uh, where you are to your next level. But you have to you have to connect with us you have to commit yourself to the ministry and watch how god is going to bless you and your family well that's it what i want you to do now if you hear what i just said uh, we'll be doing the hampers we need help we need covenant partners if you're there you say bishop george i have food in my house the lord has been good to me but i know that there are people that don't have and i don't know them you know them let me do it you let me do it and you might say bishop george do I have to send money to the church? Listen, you don't have to send money to the church. All you have to do is to drop like a bag of flour, a bag of sugar, a bag of peas, uh, or whatever you can do in the grocery. And you come to the church, maybe you come to church at night, tomorrow night you start bringing in those tin foods. 
And if you are outside the country, you say, Bishop Jordan, I can't do that. I'm not there. Well, send money. I'll show you how to send the money. And it will go straight to feeding the less fortunate. You have to trust somebody. Okay? So here it goes. Before you leave the stream, I want you to look on, on the screen there. You will see a, a email address. Uh, uh, not really an email address. It's a website address www.jesuselam.org Go on the website. See what we're doing. Look at our branch churches. See what this church is involved in. And when you see it, and you, the Lord pull upon your heart to give, maybe some of you need to pay your tithes. You don't, you don't belong to a church. You want to commit yourself by supporting financially. Maybe God leading in your heart to sow a seed. And it will be highly appreciated. Our church don't go out begging for money. The Lord has been good to us. We pay our bills. But the vision will need provision. God said he gave us a vision that is bigger than our pocket. It's bigger than our bank account. We need partners. Those of you that want to be uh, covenant partners with $58 every month, I'll appreciate it. If you want to give more, I'll appreciate it. If you don't want to give, it's okay. God is going to use somebody else. Don't feel bad about it and don't condemn us okay god will use somebody to bring the church into completion completions means that we should not be just paying bills in the church but we should be helping the less fortunate god have placed that on my heart and i want you to join me join me this year and be a covenant partner if you want to be a covenant partner you can call the numbers also uh, anytime this week 675 1474 they'll tell you what to do but go to the website and if god is leading you to sow a seed for the food hampers or maybe just an offering just to bless the church we will appreciate it so keep on coming keep on viewing and please move from the level of viewing and come sit down with us and be there in person i'm bishop gary george don't forget friday night is a big night friday night is the blood night when you come in friday night please all dressed in red every night we start at six friday night we start at six friday evening we start at 5 30. looking forward to see you i'm bishop gary george and the next time the doors of the church open i'll be looking out the windows for you breath of god, breath of god. breathe upon me spirit of the lord breathe